Okay, this should go. I think that's good. Okay. Uh, cool. We're in. Uh, okay, we're rolling. Hey. All Hello. Right. Hey. W with me today is the host of Mint Salad Saw on the YouTube channel, ASC Presents, the beautifully talented movie reviewer slash video game player slash quirky cosplaying Mint Salad. How are, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. <laughs> That's good. Ed, yeah. You're, okay. How I, are you? I'm I'm tired of existing. Tired. Yeah. Oh. It's it it's a long life. But you're you're good, right? It is a long life. That is yeah. correct. Man, these nights are long, but the years are short. Uh so let's just get into it. I got <laughs> I got a list of questions here. Let's see. You go by the name Mint Salad. Why that name? Well, it was a nickname that comes from my real name. And then I just used it. <laughs> do you do you like salad? Like the uh, the, the food? It depends. It uh I like Caesar salad. Oh, I like yeah. the apple pecan salad from Wendy's. And that's about it. <laughs> do you think Wendy's is better than McDonald's? In yes. And all, all it is, right? Yeah, I should also mention that I also love the flavor mint as well. My favorite flavor. That's, I'm not really, like, do you like mint chocolate chip cookies? Those yes. Girl Scout ones? Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, the how, uh, Thin Mints. How do you like those? They're like eating toothpaste. <laughs> I mean, if you freeze them, it's the mintiest thing ever. And that's, uh, the, that's the point. That's the how point you're... is that it's supposed to taste like toothpaste. You found a life hack for that. Yeah. How about... Uh... <laughs> And I know you do salad dressing where you um, cosplay. What's your favorite uh, salad dressing? Do you, do you just go with the Caesar on a Caesar salad or? Oh, uh, my favorite salad dressing. I like Caesar salad's good. Uh, yeah. I also like a, a balsamic vinaigrette. And did you know that Caesar salad has fish? I mean, Caesar dressing has fish in it. No, I don't think I knew that. It does have fish in it. It's also Parmesan, mayo, salt, pepper, Worcestershire sauce, and Parmesan cheese, and one other thing. I've always thinking. wondered about Wor Worcestershire sauce. Like, what do you, what do you do with it? It's just a ingredient for other ingredients. I don't know. I think it's supposed to be like I am not a chef. I've seen it used in applications where it's supposed to add more flavor. That's the extent of my knowledge. Right, to that's that. it. That's yeah. it, pretty much. Yeah, I would never. No, uh, no, it sounds nasty. <laughs> uh, the mission of your YouTube series of Men's Salad Saw is to become a better critic of movies and television shows. From everything that you've seen so far, what what's your most favorite of, of your whole library? I know you're you're grinding. You're doing it daily. Temple Grandin. That's the one I gave a ten. Do you have you heard about Temple Grandin? I've never heard of that. Uh, it's an autistic woman who uh, loves cattle, uh, uh, transforms the cattle industry from like, uh, like kind of redesigns like how like cattle are moved. So it's like more humane and it's like more cost effective because you don't have to have as many like people hired to hit the cattle and the cattle meat is stressed and it's it's a whole movie, but like she's very inspirational, just like s seeing like the autism, mm -hmm. and I say the autism like it's like you can see like how she visual visualizes, uh, words like numbers, pictures in her mind. She can just see the the mind stuff and can like oh there's like a floating like oh well this is this degree okay how would I engineer this then but she doesn't know how to communicate with people but like it's just she is calculating like everything around her and I'm like whoa that's pretty awesome i think i had a that's a documentary uh it is a it's a biopic movie oh okay, it's not okay, a documentary okay. yeah i think i had an autistic joke once where i dropped a deck of cards but just the yeah. deck none of the cards fell out and i was like oh that's there's one deck of cards because you know how they usually count all the cards that i don't know it's it's not it's not i don't very, get it it's not very good no uh what's what's your least favorite of all the shows you've seen uh 
Um, like something you just could you turned off or you know you watch them through, right? I so, always watch them through. Yeah. It's just uh, I think the least favorite thing, probably because I didn't get it, is the Thor to Dark World, just because it was very lore heavy mm-hmm. and it wasn't very entertaining like action on scene. Uh, I'm not. I mean, I like lore, but like I wish it was combined with more action on screen and not just like sitting and talking like yeah here's we're discovering a library yeah and look at all these texts with all the information on it you yeah know? I, I, no i i think i know what movie the the thor the second one right or yeah the third it's the second one? one yeah that was just like boring it was one of the the weaker marvel films if you want yeah. the series have you ever seen the golden <laughs> girls the, uh, i have not Man. i've heard a lot i've heard a lot of mention of the name Jeez, but i've not goals. heard anything about it i think mathematically it's the most laughs per minute of any comedy series did you count or something no no i think it's it's uh i don't know i heard that somewhere i was like hoping it was a scientific fact because <laughs> this just non-stop laughter on that uh <laughs> next. yeah you you even stream yourself playing video games that's so cool do you think jet <laughs> jet fuel melts steel beams no i'm sorry that's not the uh what (laughs) with that in mind about video games what is your favorite video game of all time uh either currently or just ever like playing memory i i really love playing pokemon violent violet violently (laughs) right now (laughs) um i say that because i'm a big uh battler i just love all the pokemon games but this Pokemon Violet is my favorite right now. Uh, memory wise, I gotta say Halo Reach. Have you played Forge on Halo Reach? The Forge world is the most amazing world to build stuff in. It's like it's all open world and you can like create bases. It's awesome. And there's like just so much space on the Forge, uh, Forge world in. Halo Reach. You can probably tell what I did most of Halo Reach. No, when when I was younger, I would say a kid, and I played Halo, I would say I hated it, but it's because I wasn't good at it. I <laughs> really sucked at it, so I just never played that. Pokemon, though, uh, I love the first generation. Anything after the first 151 Pokemon, I'm like, no, that doesn't count. Uh, <laughs> even with the, the all the glitches and crap going on with the new Pokemon, you're still enjoying it? All that I, shit I they've mean, been yeah. saying? Because it's, I mean, I, I, I haven't seen many of the glitches in my copy. Uh, I just love the open world of it all. And mm-hmm. I know that uh, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield are kind of, they have some open worldiness. They have like one open world region and like you have 3D models of the Pokemon, but there's not that many, but it's also just like a linear, like, oh, you're going up the map. But this in Pokemon Violet, it's it's an entire island you can do it at your own pace you there's an entire wild area you can just explore and there's like a, a bunch of uh pokemon 3d models and you can like send out your pokemon to fight other pokemon without you getting into the the actual battle screen and which takes forever this it makes grinding super easy in the pokemon i love it so much it's great for battles too. <laughs> and you're barely scratching the the you know the beginning yeah. of it. You still got a long yeah. way to go. Oh yeah. Man, geez. Uh I say uh you're you're not shy about your autism. Uh do you think it handicaps your life or do you think it actually helps you and makes you like more adorable to um everyone? I think I I definitely see it as a thing to overcome and i say this because i was diagnosed when i was 16 and before that i had a lot of difficulty communicating with somebody because i think i would say something clearly but they would be like oh you're being so rude and then they would like not be friends with me or something and so like when i was diagnosed when i was 16 i was like oh that's why i'm so weird i gotta i gotta really hone in and um talk to people and learn more social skills and i'm i'm very blunt (laughs) no i've seen have you ever seen uh on netflix love on the spectrum it's Uh, a dating kind of reality about people who are autistic 
I have not seen that. It's, uh, that sounds interesting. It it's very I I started watching it to initially make fun of it cuz I'm an <laughs> asshole, but yeah. I started like really caring about these people cuz you could see like even the simplest things of how to how to describe how emotion should be or how people act is just it's difficult, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of like oh we we mean to say this but we said this and it's like yeah I, there's just like I, I i mean a thing like i might say one thing and someone might interpret it as, as another thing and might get offended by that and i'm just like i'm i'm just being how i'm just saying it i don't mean to i'm sorry if i offended you or was being too blunt or something but like i i i also think it is a superpower as well. I only say this in the sense that I can look at everything and like hone into the details. Like I'm very detail oriented and this has helped me like be very particular about like art, uh music, uh, uh <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the the cosplays, like makeup now, the videos like um i i just see it like okay like and also it's a i feel it's a way i feel like that i have an ability to just look at something see like how someone like would replicate it and then try my hand at that mm -hmm. and sometimes i get it um like if it's like oh someone's having a hard time op opening this thing and then i open it it's like oh how did you open it? Well, I don't know. Retard strength. That's what I call it. <laughs> I'm, I, I also say that I'm allowed to say that word because uh, it, it's like a social retardation. Is yeah, autism. yeah. No, no, I hear yeah. you. Yeah, I. that's why I use uh, like Mexican slang, the bad words I'm allowed to. I'm, <laughs> I won't mention any right now, but uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to tell you a joke. That's what I have written here. What's a vampire's favorite fruit? A vampire's favorite fl fruit? Yes. Uh, a succubus? No, it's a nectarine. Oh, a nectarine. Ah, oh, that makes much more sense. That's overthinking I know, it. I know, right? It's pretty, pretty literal there. I, is, I've heard people say blood orange too, but eh, whatever. Is a succubus a uh, fruit? What am I, is that a thing? That's a, what is it, like a female demon? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, no, I'm pretty sure that's not a fruit. I'm very uh, well versed okay. in, in fruits and vegetables. It's not a fruit. Okay. It should be, though. <laughs> uh, I've noticed on your Twitter at It's Mint Salad that you also have a not safe for work kind of version handle at Tits Mint Salad, where you're cosplaying for your reviews very provocatively and showing off your boobs. Yes. Is that your favorite body part of yours, or do you uh, prefer any other body part? <laughs> Well, these are my two favorite part body parts. One mm -hmm. and two. This is probably my favorite part. It's fun to be like, oh, I get to jiggle. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Ah, uh, yeah. They're so soft and they feel like water balloons. Not at all like bags of sand. Uh, yeah, I've heard, well, from the movie, yeah. And I'm like, no, they aren't. And I'd say I'd say you're very lovely to look at, but you're not uh, my cousin. So I, I wouldn't <laughs> uh, <laughs> Like, I'm sorry. You know that that can't really uh, go after you for that. Uh, let's say if a man, if a man were to happen to press the like button on one of your YouTube videos or one of your uh, posts on the Twitter, do you consider that sexual harassment? No. What's sexual about a like button? So you hear that, folks? A like but don't touch. That's the rule. <laughs> it's it's okay to like her her stuff. She's <laughs> she's. She's very great. She's very <laughs> social. Uh, I do my best. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and earlier, I forgot to ask. Uh, I see you're reviewing the entire Scooby-Doo TV series and movies, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you think when Scooby and the gang find out the monsters were someone they knew all along, that relates to real life because we as humans wear our own metaphorical masks to hide our personalities and intentions? Um, that is a read on that. It is a deeper read than I, I mean, Scooby-Doo is very intentional. So that could be 
a, a thing that exists that could be the ultra like meaning for it mm-hmm. i haven't really thought of scooby-doo in that way i thought it was like oh they're they're uh the monsters are the people who are trying to make scam people for money and i'm just like well don't scam people for money that's the ultimate lesson that i've taken out of scooby-doo and scooby-doo the the mystery gang loves doing what they do so that's also like oh well do what you do do what you love to do that's what i've seen out of scooby-doo <laughs> do you do you think uh like dogs if they talk they would sound like that like rory rory yeah i also think they wouldn't know their dogs you know like scooby every time uh someone's like oh get that meddling dog out of here uh scooby's like what rare <laughs> like he doesn't know he's a dog I, I can't re- remember the last time I've seen a Scooby-Doo episode. I've seen like your reviews with it, but yeah, I just cannot be turned on to Scooby-Doo. It's, I don't know, low tier. It's, 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 def- it's more intentional. It's definitely very intentional with the colored, uh, the colors they use are very vibrant. So you know, which character is which, like I can tell who Daphne is versus Fred versus Shaggy, Scooby, and Velma. Like, I know who each person is because they're very distinct in the character design. Plus, the world that they inhibit uh, match... it. It's very good-looking because the, the colors that they use, uh, like, match the, the main character colors. Like, if it's, like, a blue or, like... It, it, just, it just matches in some, like, color match way depending on what color palette they're going for. But I, it's also very intentional because you know how Scooby is a Great Dane and he's a really big dog. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's scared of everything. But you have Scrappy Doo, which I don't understand why people hate him. I haven't gone to the two thousands movies, so there might be a reason why he's hated. But in like the eighties and nineties movies where Scrappy Doo is there, I like him a lot because he's like, yeah, I'm brave. I'm gonna. Uh, head first. I'm gonna go head first in every every situation, you know. He's like, uh, let me at him, let me at him, or some, exactly. something like that. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm, I like the the flip on the 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 personalities. Big dog being a, having like a small, scary personality versus a small dog having a very big personality, mm-hmm. and also this kind of reflects in real life dogs as well. I've been around a lot of dogs, and small dogs think they are massive. If you've ever dealt with a Chihuahua, oh geez, no, yeah, I, I don't want to deal with those little little ang- yeah. ang- burst of anger. Yeah, oh man, ha- they're so angry. Have you ever seen a pup named Scooby Doo? Uh, I have not yet. Yeah, I, I think I preferred that one as a child, and yeah, that was just I don't know, it was just more favorable to me. But I liked when they kid version stuff like the Muppet Babies, and you know, a pup named Scooby Doo. So yeah, maybe yeah. when you get to that, you. I don't know. I don't know. I'll definitely get to that sometime. I'm wondering if 9-11 was an inside job. But I want to thank you so much for being on here. Like, you know, I really appreciate it. And you go ahead and plug anything you want to your audience or to my audience, any of audiences, right? Any anything. All right. So I do daily movie reviews on youtube.com slash ASC presents. And you can request a movie review at patreon.com slash ASC presents for $20 a month for one movie review. We mm-hmm. also have $3 a month for some daily vlogs. And if you want to help support the daily grindiness of the movie reviews, you can go to the link tree, linktr.ee slash titsman salad. And you can find my NSFW daily sets there. It really helps support the daily grindiness of the movie reviews on youtube.com slash ASC presents. So that's where you can find me. Oh yeah, and Twitter is it's been salad. Yeah, as long as it's still existing, we'll keep uh posting up on there. But yeah, thank you so much for being here. I have a question for you. What's what what's up? Are you autistic? I, I don't think I am. I I'm not ruling it out, but I don't think I am. Do you do you see hints of it in me? A little bit. Uh, I mean, like, have you been? Have you gone to diagnosis ever? I've. I mean, I've been to a lot of doctors, but none of them were like 
uh you know take take my mom to the other room and like hey, uh, something's a little, uh, what, uh, you know okay it yeah i don't know but it could be because i i do take like a, a shit ton of medication so mm. i could see it just <laughs> messing with the uh, my reality but okay what can that's i do fine. that's that's reality right that it, it's it's for you your reality is your reality and so is mine right yeah have you been drinking water that is my last question for you and the audience I've been just drinking sweet tea all day. I, I'm disgusting. I need to drink more water. <laughs> drink water. <laughs> that's uh, that's what we're leaving you with. Drink more water. But thank you so right. much for being here. All right. Uh, all right. See you later. Bye. Bye. Cool.